Good morning, my friends. It is Monday, February 15th, and I'm over here by the famed Norfolk Pagoda, one of the landmarks here down by the water in Norfolk in a section called Freemason. Today, we remember Thomas Bray. In 1696, Thomas Bray, an English country parson, was commissioned to report on the condition of the church in the colony of Maryland. He spent only 10 weeks in the colony, but he radically reorganized and renewed the church there, providing for the instruction of children and the systematic examination of candidates for pastoral positions. He founded 39 lending libraries and numerous schools both in Maryland and upon his return to England, he wrote and preached in defense of the rights of enslaved Africans and of Indians deprived of their land. Back in England, he worked for the reform of prison conditions and for the establishment of preaching missions to prisoners. He persuaded General Oglethorpe to found an American colony, Georgia, for the settlement of debtors as an alternative to debtors' prison. He founded a missionary society, the SPG, Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, and an educational and publishing society, the SPCK, Society for Promoting Christian Knowledge, both of which are still active today. Let's begin by taking a moment to close our eyes and breathe. Three slow, quiet breaths. Breathing out and letting go on each out breath. The day ahead, the remains of the day before, or the week before, or the night before, the dreams that baffle us the feelings that haunt us, the worries that drive us. Breathe them out into the breath of God and let God do the rest. For God's breath to move over the landscape of our life as God's breath moved over the chaos and brought forth creation. For God's breath to move over the chaotic places in our lives and bring forth new creation. And we'll begin with the invitatory on page 80. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Continuing on page 82 with the Venite. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. The psalm reading for this morning is Psalm 85, verses 7 through 13. Psalm 85, verses 7 through 13. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. 
I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 through 12. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person, but if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whatever you ent whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you on that day it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Canticle 9 is our response on page 86. Canticle 9 on page 86. First song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among his people. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Collect of the Day. Almighty God, who opened the heart of your servant Thomas Bray to the needs of the church oh, in the new world, make your church diligent at all times to propagate the gospel and to promote the spread of Christian knowledge through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A collect for Monday, the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires 
Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for the morning. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. In our prayers this Monday morning, we pray for the repose of the soul of David, a young man, a, a deep friend of one of our parishioners who has died tragically of COVID at the age of 44. We pray for Catherine Nicholson's soul, mother of David Nicholson. We pray for the soul of Elizabeth Etheridge, and we pray for comfort for her family. She is to be buried a little bit later this morning in the columbarium at Christ in St. Luke's. We pray for Libby as she uh, travels alone across country and for all those facing illness, surgery, injury, or adversity, especially Ethelene, Curtis Bancroft, Mason Beers, Judy Belka, John Camp, Catherine Blackwood, Michael Copeland, Sue Cromlin, Carlene Cairns, Mary Earhart, Scott Francis, Ben Garrett, Doris Graves, Gordon MacArthur, Mary McCune, Charles James Malloy, Elmer Morales, La Marie Pantoflet, Dennis Provost, Jessica Sinclair, Phyllis and Mark Sayers, Julia Scruggs, John Tanner, Priscilla Trinder Rohde, Laura Waterhouse, Ronald and Angela Waterman, Rick Watson and others on his ship who are suffering from COVID, and Chris White. And we also especially pray for the repose of the soul of Charles Minoche, beloved brother of Arthur Minoche. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Hope you have a beautiful Monday. It is very cold out here and very damp, but I needed a change of scenery. Please excuse if I sounded a little rushed at times and didn't give you enough time to uh, find your place. Uh, it is just so cold, my hands are freezing, and so I did a little more quickly than normal, but, uh, but uh, tomorrow I will be back inside. God bless you all.